What's up you guys? I told you I was gonna do an update on the cheat day and here it is. So there's a lot of reasons why you shouldn't cheat and, and mainly it's obvious why you shouldn't be cheating because you shouldn't be cheating. But here's, here's the main reason why. Don't be so quick to be so proud and talk so confidently about how you're cheating on your diet. That's not a good thing. If you're on a food plan or restrictive diet, stick to it. Because when you say you're doing a cheat day, I'm wondering what else are you so comfortable cheating with? What else are you comfortable cheating with? Call it something else at least. Call it I'm taking a break. Call it I'm quitting for a day. Call it something else, but don't call it a cheat day. If you have a son and he says, I cheated on my test today, dad, with that, would you be okay with that? Would you be okay cheating on your taxes a little bit? I'm wondering what else you're comfortable cheating with. Would you cheat on your wife and everything else? Stop calling it a cheat day, get the work done. Would you cheat on your wife for a day, your taxes, your job? 